Project 8084 here with a quick Transformers action figure review. Uh, this one is for Robots in Disguise Storm Shot. So, packaging. Uh, I haven't really watched much of this series yet. Um, I do have them uh, being recorded, and I'll probably play catch up later. But I just thought this one looked kind of cool. You know, I'm not really big on these. Of course, I have to get the Soundwave when it comes out because Soundwave is my favorite. And it's Warrior class, pretty much was like Deluxe class. Uh, let's combine our force here. Uh, not really much in the way of bios, and they don't even come with instruction manuals. Their instructions are on the back of uh, the package. So this is Storm Shot. Close in here. The Uh, it's a neat looking figure. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, you can kind of hold his gun in both hands, but you got a bunch of straight armament. And it's got like a little peg there. It's actually pegged into the hand. Um, and decent posability on these figures. Um, you know you know what you're getting plastic wise. These are you know, getting thinner and just very, very light. But, you know, they compared to old G1 toys, you know, they don't have the weight or the thickness of the plastic. But. They do what they have on top of that is articulation. You know, got the swivels and the knee. You know, they actually have elbows and you know, bicep swivels and shoulder joints. You know, and then go out in the hips. You know, you got ball joint and knee, and you got thigh swivel, which you want to pop the leg off when you want to do it though. But you can usually step it back on. Oh, jeez, man. I'm gonna take a look at him. He's a he's a neat figure. I thought it looked kind of cool. Packaging on the back of the the rendering, he's got gray here instead of white, but I think the white looks fine. Take a look at his gun. It does come in two pieces. So you can have him hold two weapons at once, or you can plug them into the back, like so. Or if you're feeling feisty, you can do it like this. And then you got that look. And you can change that handle to peg it in. Or you can dual wield his weapons. Move the light a little bit. Right. The transform. You easily just fold his hands on in. And his feet fold back like that. His part here pulls down. Plus, it can come out like this. Then this whole part just rotates up. And that snaps in like so. As legs, you usually just rotate this part out. You pull this part out, don't rotate it. And then you sort of like combine a wars and they just fold up onto his back. And then, of course, there's pegs on each leg and peg them into each other, like so. And then there's little tabs that will tab by the wings. And it doesn't really tab it all that well. And there's little slots on his arms, by his wrists, that will tab on his blue pieces on the back of his legs. Like so. Like so. And he's got his landing gear. Pull that out. And voila. And he's got visible head syndrome. The head has really, the only articulation the head has is to look left and right. Um, you might be able to get your fingers in there and turn it around to face that way so you don't see the head. But honestly, it's not a big thing with me, so I don't worry with it. I mean, Jet Mode, he looks pretty cool. This is where I think silver would look better, like it does in the rendering. If it, this part was all silver. At least do this part and made his shoulders. And you can leave the white on his chest if they wanted to. But I think that would look, you know, fairly decent. He's got a tap on his back. I'm not 
Not sure. I haven't tried. I actually, peg his gun in. Yeah, it pegs him. So you can peg his weapons in that way. And you can. That if you like. So he's got it on top. Like so. Or if you're feeling even different, you can. He's got them under his wings. So you can do one each wing. And he's got one under his nose cone. So you don't want to do it there. Or that way. Whatever floats your boat. I just think it's a little awkward with a short one and a long one. So if you do one each wing, uh, to me this looks a little awkward because there's a long one. And then there's a short one. And then just one wing in it. To me also looks a little, you know, weird. I like to have one on each side. So, yeah. I mean, that's a little figure for, I think, I, the price, I think, is a little much for these, 15 bucks, I don't know, 10, 12 dollars would be more for the the quality of what you're feeling, but the articulation, the look, it looks, it looks fine, but that is Robust in Disguise, Storm Shot, I mean, he is what it is, he looks good, he looks the part, so, I mean, if you're collecting these, I would say this one's a definite. If you're collecting that line, I'm not. Just picking out ones I think might look good. And I'm just picking out the one. And Soundwave for me, thing. Because the only one I have in this line is the original Drift that's orange. I don't. I haven't bought the white one, which I thought I'd buy it and customize it into another figure. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until the next one, peace out.